We chose Peru because one young lady who's from Peru encouraged us to go. Even though she wasn't able to go, Valerie, I wish you could have been here. But it was very providential because we had a contact in Peru who's worked with Maranatha for many years and she had several different church sites. We ended up here in Cusco and it's been a great experience. As you can see, the church has gone up. Our goal was to build at least one church and to help build another church, which we accomplished, but also to have a medical clinic, uh, to do evangelism and BBS. And we actually did that in two different sites. The medical team served over 250 people in one site, and probably the same in the other site. And the VBS had dozens of kids come out, and the evangelism was done by Pastor Shane and Pastor Hector Hernandez. So I feel like we had a, a huge impact in the city of Cusco. Our experience in Machu Picchu convinced me that even though paganism could create such a wonder, and it's a huge spectacle to people of the world, a small group of Christians could come to the same country and build a small church and God tells us don't despise small things because small things become big things through God's help and through God's blessing. Everyone here seems so like welcoming to us when we came and they're also like friendly to each other like a big family sometimes and it's just nice how they don't really worry sometimes about what they have even though they have really little because like in America we complain a lot <laughs> sometimes if we don't have like something we want when they have so little they don't care. My favorite part about Peruvian culture is the whole atmosphere the way everyone is so friendly and they welcome you and they do like your every need they're there to help you out with. The people are really friendly and the food is really good. My favorite thing about Peruvian culture is probably the bright colored clothing that all the ladies wear and their hair. Their hair is really pretty. <laughs> job is VBS because I like getting to know all the kids and talking to them and seeing how their life is here. Doing VBS with the kids um, at the church was really fun. The kids were really uh, friendly and it was really cool to interact with them. Um, my favorite job here is definitely VBS. Um, I really like VBS because the kids are just so caring and it's so much fun to just hang out with them and see them smile and just spend time with the kids.
My favorite job has been medical. Um, I worked there two days and I got to meet a lot of the people and see all their needs. And it was really sad. A lot of people here have parasites and it was, it was cool that we were able to treat them and make them better. My favorite job is at the medical clinic because you have the opportunity to witness the lives you're making a difference in. <laughs> I've, I really enjoyed going to the medical clinic. Um, it's been really fun, even though I can't really speak Spanish to the patients, but it was fun getting to interact with them and to learn more about their health. My favorite job has been on the work site when we were dumping buckets with Shayla and Kedra. <laughs> well, I liked working on the um, work site doing the stucco, it was fun. And with the concrete getting splashed all everywhere. Pouring concrete with Kingsley is my favorite thing about the work site. Um, the thing I like most about the culture here is how the moms all walk around with the babies on their back in really colorful fabrics and they're all really caring towards their children. It's been good to see that. Boy, my favorite thing about Peruvian culture, I think probably everyone's going to say the friendliness and I do very much enjoy that. I think I would choose their heartiness. Uh, these people live in rugged country. Uh, they're used to hardship and yet they just keep moving forward. Uh, they're very determined. I admire that. I'm going to miss the mountains. As you can see, they're beautiful, and I just love the mountains. I'm going to uh, think about them for years to come. I'm gonna miss the kids and you know just getting to talk to them like Willie and Jorge you know they've always been here at the work site and I just like getting to know them and seeing how their life is here and you know they don't really have much but they live life you know as if they had everything. Um, what I'm gonna miss most about Peru is these beautiful mountains around us. It is so green and luscious and it's just so beautiful. What I'm gonna miss most about Peru is all the little kids. They're so happy and they're so unaware of things that they don't have and it's really humbling to see that even in the rain and and houses falling on them, they're still really, really happy. I'm gonna miss the people and the children because they're just so happy to see you. And it's just, it makes this whole thing worth it. Every struggle, everything we're doing out there, it makes it worth it. I uh, stayed up late and having silly talks and bonding with friends. I'm just gonna miss, I've made a lot of fun memories with my friends here, just like laughing and doing crazy things, just that I feel like you can only make when you go to another place and just do just different things than what you do in the U.S. because you have different things there. It's a really beautiful place here. Um, the mountains are really beautiful. I think I'm gonna miss the mountains a lot because it's, it's a really nice background and I think I'm gonna miss the people as well. I'm probably gonna miss these mountains even though the altitude made me sick for a while, but the place here is really pretty and I'm really gonna miss that.
You know, oddly enough, the altitude, you know, I can hardly breathe most of the time, but it's just really cool being up here at 11,000 feet and seeing these huge mountains and they're green uh, in the states that have ice on them and snow. And uh, it's just gorgeous. I think heaven is going to be a little bit like this part of the earth. I think during my whole time here, I've enjoyed pretty much all of it. I like building. It's a good change of pace. You know, a lot of my work is inside. So coming out here and building things, uh, particularly for people that really need it uh, and they need it here. So it's been great to be on the site. The preaching has been very good, very good. Uh, you just never know the seeds that you're planting for the kingdom. And uh, someday we're going to look back and my guess is we'll be able to say people joined up right here because of the things that we did.